guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, hosted on the Money in Phoenix channel. So in today's video game tutorial, we're going to go over Dead Island Riptide. And there's many different ways to make the game work online. Yes, it has LAN, just as long as you get the respective MP or LAN fix files to make it working. So real quick, here I am in the Tungle program. And if I did a search for Dead Island Riptide, we see that there's a lot of gaming networks devoted to the game. Awesome. So here I am inside the room or the lobby already. And you click on the question mark or the don't panic button, depending on your tungle skin, there is the famous wiki here on the right hand side. So there's two main solutions. One is play the game without Steam or Green Luma. So basically that method, you can read through the wiki. Basically you download the, uh, download the land fix, whatever that latest fix is gonna be, and then put it into your game folder. Also, play the game, play till chapter one, and play it that way. I was not very successful with that method because I got I got a lot of um, game disconnect issues. I don't know why, um, but we'll see. Second method, which worked out pretty well for me, is the Steam Green Luma method, and I think a lot of people are doing this method as well. So what you do is you install the game, get the MP fix, extract that into your game folder, download Steam, download the latest Green Luma, you can join the Steam network if you want to, that's optional, and then start your game, play through chapter one, and all that good stuff, right? And you can do it through online, and you can also do it through the LAN method, as well using that solution, which I am also doing today. So here's my Steam program, okay, running Green Luma, we're good to go. Here's the Dead Island patch, so if I go to, to Steamworks, here's these files here, and you just copy that into your Dead Island folder and dump it and overwrite any existing file if you have one. And of course, always go to the wiki in the future as new files or patches are uploaded and updated. So with that said, let's jump straight into the gameplay footage tutorial. All right, here we are at the main menu of Dead Island Riptide, so let's do this. So first thing is you go to Options, make sure at, under Online that you have it set as Cooperative and as LAN. If you want to do Online, you could definitely do that if you're using the Steamworks Green Luma method. So let's click on Continue, and then hopefully, uh, once we get into the game, we'll go to the server browser, and we'll see if there's any other player's game that is up. Now, granted, I've had a lot of issues with using the LAN method sometimes, with the Steamworks method, because sometimes I cannot connect to other people, but I noticed that if you just do it through online, join someone else's game, host your own game, invite your friends, it works flawless that way. So definitely consider that as another tool in your arsenal bag as you continue on your journey of destroying zombie heads. All right, so we are in the game. Sweet, so let's go back, press escape, go to game lobby, and then here we just search and search, uh, actually it auto searches, but we just sort of sit here and wait to see what other land games show up. Now granted, it's gonna depend, because right now I'm in uh, Tungle Dead Island room number two, basically, and um, had about 160 players. The first room was all full, 255 out of 255. We see there's one game up so far that someone's hosting. And if we sit here a little bit, we'll see another game that's also being hosted. So let's see if I can join this second game. Hopefully I can. Like I said, I've had some issues before. We're trying to join someone's LAN game and you get kicked out. But, 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 we are clearly in the game. Nice. Press tab. Three people. And this is how you have a lot of good times. And I'll be quiet a little bit as I try to type here. Yeah, let's do this. Got this nice blade of fire, flame. Anyways, we can clearly see that the game works out fine. So if you guys have any nitpicky questions or comments, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.